welcome back to Immortal Empires. Today we're going to be playing some more Croc Gar. And uh, speaking of Croc Gar, I just noticed that uh, Projo next to him. Oh, well, there we go. Projo next to him uh, does actually have a level up. So let's go ahead and tend to that one. He has two level ups, in fact. Uh, that's a nice little surprise to start off the episode. Uh, let's see. We can go ahead and give him some weapon strength. In fact, I think I might... What does this do? Uh, this is plus 10%. Uh, this is a flat 20%, so let's go ahead and give him a 20% buff there uh, to his weapon strength. And his army is quite stacked. I was considering giving him some better units, uh, thanks to you guys suggesting that due to his recent victories. However, uh, we're going to have to find one of the other armies to dump off the units he already has uh, by the look of it. Now, I really want... Let's see, how many turns? We have one turn left of the right of Ferocity. I really want Krokgar to attack this settlement up here. So, uh, I think Pryjo is going to have to go ahead and attack this army by himself. But that should be fine. There's not many units here. Yeah, uh, that's an easy auto-resolve there. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and give Strider and Speed. Uh, we can go ahead and give that to Pryjo. There we go. Um, hmm. We would actually lose a unit. Is that fine, though? I mean, we're going to replace these with some cold ones or something. Okay, let's go ahead and also resolve that. That's fine. We can replace them. Uh, let's go ahead and take the extra gold there as well. And we do gain an armor of fortune. Plus 5 armor, 5% 5 physical resistance, and 5% ward save. Uh, that's very nice there. Uh, we will go ahead and take uh, Pride Joel back towards the east soon. So he can go ahead and get some new units. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and give him some more weapon strength. Uh, he's starting to get very strong now on his Carnosaur mount. And I might even go ahead and put him in in-camp stance. Uh, and just start moving him towards Kofa. Let's secure that first so we have this entire province. And then we can worry about taking him back east. Uh, but let's go in ahead and attack Fyrus. I think this should be an easy battle here. Uh, it gives us a decisive victory of low casualties. There we go. Uh, not anything significant there. So we can go ahead and also resolve this one. 3,000 gold and 2,700 experience. That's nice to have. And we will go ahead and occupy this. And we do gain a, mourn, uh, a man spawn sacrifice, plus four leadership and fighting against humans. And there we go, we do manage to kill the enemy there. Uh, plenty of level ups in Krokgar's army. Let's see, Krokgar gains a level up here. Uh, so what should we look at getting for him? Um, I think he has mostly everything, right? What were we... I think we were beginning to upgrade something, but now I've, uh, it's escaped me what it was. Uh, there's no point... I don't think we need the speed. Uh, we have the leadership. We have all of this. Maybe we could get something down here. We have Beast Driver uh, for his dinosaurs. We could go ahead and get him Mentor so he can level up our heroes faster. We could go down the blue tree as well. Hmm. Uh, leadership plus six during ambushes. We do have Ancient Cunning. We could get plus 30% ambush success chance there. Let's see. Or we could just get free skills in Mental. I think I do like the idea of getting Mental. Let's go ahead and get some Mental. Uh, there we go. Uh, our Skink Priest here also got a level up. Let's go ahead and give him Mental as well. Just so we can level up all of our Lords. Uh, Lord Croak here, however. Let's see. The Harrowing Scrutiny. Plus free control in a local province. And we can give him causing terror. Regeneration. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Because I really want to get transcendent healing. Uh, that would be nice. And then let's go ahead and look at all of our Scar veterans. Uh, they have plenty they can do. We've already got a melee attack. Uh, let's go ahead and give them some hit points. Uh, what about this guy? Let's give him some hit points as well. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the same for all of them because they're all level 15. And so far, we've leveled them all up here exactly the same. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we're all sorted up here. Now, what other armies do we have for this turn? Let's go over to Uaxti and Lustria. He's currently making his way back eastwards towards uh, the Piranha Swamp so he can do some replenishments. So let's carry on with that plan. And then we do have Tepchik with a, an army of skinks here. Let's see, could we take on the Skaven? I think we could, right? Yeah, there's no reason why we couldn't take on the Skaven. Uh, 
Pretty uh, let's see, if we declare war on them, uh, we could wipe them out with Kalida here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I think I will, in fact, what we could do is actually get a bit of gold from this. If we go ahead and do just some diplomacy with Kalida, and we offer to join the war against Clan Moors. There we go. Uh, how much gold would you be giving me? Huh? I have to pay you to join the war? How does that make any sense? Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and attack him there. There we go. Uh, we can go ahead and declare this one. Uh, Exiles of Corn. Oh, maybe I should have uh, looked at that before I declared war. Um, so Exiles of Corn are allies with them. And they did join a Pyrrhic victory, but they're only skink, so I'm happy enough to go ahead and uh, spend that there. We do gain a Gleaming Pennant, so plus four leadership. Uh, there we go. Uh, just for that individual unit, 2,800 experience and 2,200 gold. I will go ahead and take the extra gold. However, I think we might go back and recruit some better units. I, I don't like using skinks here. And we gain a Rat Spawn Sacrifice, plus four leadership when fighting against Skaven. Uh, there we go. That's nice. And we do gain access to our Cold Womp mounts now. And we do kill the enemies as well. Let's see. We can go ahead and level Tepchik. I don't think this would take out the Skaven here. Uh, so we should go back and get some Saurus units. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can go ahead and give him some melee attacks. So let's go ahead and do this. And then before it's too late, uh, he's stuck a bit here. Okay, these guys won't do much. Ah, Queek is over here. Uh, Kalida might be able to help us there though, so that's fine. I might just want to force march away a bit though, so we can get back here and recruit some Saurus units. Uh, we can also do some research, I just noticed. Let's see, how do we unlock this? Uh, requires building weapon crafters commune. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to... Let's see. We can build in the Temple of Skulls. Weapon Crafters Commune. It's probably one of these. Crimson Pyramid. Pyramid of Itzel. Maybe it's over here. Floating Gardens. Let's see. Um, it doesn't seem to be any of these. Ah, it's this one. It's only a tier 3 building. Okay. Right. I need to build that somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and look at, at the end of the term, though, when we do all our building. First, let's go and move uh, Kusaran. Okay, he's currently just protecting the coast here. And then good old Crichter here is uh, recruiting a unit of Feral Cold Ones. I know, uh, I do now know they're not the best unit. However, I'm just going to use these. Maybe we could actually bring them uh, north and help out the fighting here. And uh, once they die out, we're going to buy some better units. We could have a, uh, a normal cold one focused army. I think that could be cool. Right, let's go ahead and do some building though. Over here, we can get some upgrades. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. We can get some temple guard. If we upgrade this building. Skink priest, uh, skink oracle. What's the difference? Um, I'm not quite sure. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Uh, we got rid of all of our growth buildings, right? We did, so that's fine. Uh, down here, let's see, how much growth do we need for tier 5? We only need 5 growth, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of this growth building. We don't need this anymore. Uh, what's happening down here? Let's see, we can go ahead and upgrade the Geomantic Pylon. Now, I could just temporarily build this here. We can destroy it later on. I will just go ahead and temporarily build that there. That's fine. Uh, I'm not, not too picky about that. In fact, we can build some more here as well. Let's see, I think some defense would be good. Let's go ahead and build some defense. If we want to make this a, a tier 5 settlement, uh, I do think defense is good. Uh, anything down here to be built? Uh, I don't think so. So let's go over towards the desert. We might have some stuff to build here. In fact, we have plenty of stuff to build here. Uh, we can upgrade our income. Let's go ahead and upgrade our defense. We can also go ahead and upgrade our growth in this uh, province. What about here? Nothing here. Uh, I'm not going to bother with this province because it's bugged, as we found out. However, I can go ahead and build up here. We already have stuff building, so that's fine. 
Ah, we've run out of gold. Okay, we can't build no more. That's also fine. Right, let's go ahead and do some research whilst we wait for uh, this building to come online. So, uh, recruitment rank there. Yeah, we're not going to use uh, sour units. Okay. Uh, magic item drop chance. Upkeep for skink units. Upkeep for sour infantry. And t okay, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, the upkeep uh, nerf there. Or, what is it a buff? I guess it's a buff. Um, does definitely help us. Now let's go ahead and check our diplomacy. I don't think there will be anything. Yeah, nothing here, so that's fine. Uh, so we can afford to go ahead to turn 103 now. Actually, first, before I forget, uh, let's go ahead and look at if we have any spare equipment. There we go. We did get a new armor. So if we can go ahead and give that to someone here. There we go. This guy doesn't have any armor. Do we have anything else? Uh, we have some weapons as well. Let's go ahead and give him flaming attacks. There we go. That can be cool. And we do have one more weapon here. Um, let's go ahead and give this guy a, a sword of battle there. Uh, that's all looking good. Now we can go ahead to turn 103. Ways and means. Uh, that's a very interesting looking lizard there. Uh, the priest of Soltec, ever mindful of the need to press the serpent god's calls on the field of battle, are uneasy at certain technological developments you believe to be part of the great plan. Uh, they counsel a more martial focus if the old one's designs are to be realized and the ancient enemy kept at bait. Well, I agree with you. Uh, will you overrule their objections or hear their reason? Uh, so research... Oh, plus 100% research rate. I'm going to do that. It only lasts for six turns, but doubling our research rate? Yes, please. Hold to my vision. And the cult of pleasure have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Uh, so say goodbye to those guys. Uh, let's see. Can we perform the right of ferocity? It's on a 15 turn cooldown. Okay, that kind of uh, sucks there. Uh, I really like the right of ferocity now that I've uh, used it. It does give us, give us a nice buff to our income. Now, what are we looking at here? Uh, can Krokgar reach this this turn? He cannot. However, uh, that does not have a garrison at all, does it? Uh, Pride Jolt can reach it. Okay, so Crook Guy, if you can get as close as you can to this, uh, that would be awesome. And then what we can do here is lead the attack with Pride Jolt, and we do have our reinforcements there. Uh, let's go ahead and give the Banner of Swiftness to Pride Jolt. Uh, that will be uh, an easy vault to resolve, I think. We don't lose anyone. Uh, yeah, no losses there, so let's go ahead and auto-resolve that one. 2,800 experience, 1,900 gold as well. And let's go ahead and occupy this settlement. Now, we do manage to kill an enemy in battle, and we do gain a spell shield. So, plus 5 melee defense and 12% spell resistance. And we do have the coast of Araby now under our control. Let's see, uh, our Scar veteran, he gains a level up. Uh, what can we get for him? We already have mental. We already have all of this. We already have wound. Uh, available at rank 40. Available at rank 50. Okay, so we don't need to save traits. Wow, I'm finding it hard to spend stuff to... Uh, maybe we just get specialist. Hero success chance and hero action cost. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm struggling to find stuff to spend my skill points on here. And, uh, ah, these guys all have level ups as well. Now, I keep coming out of this menu. It's a bit of a habit of mine. Uh, let's see. Enemy wins a magic power reserve change. Minus 50% when increasing. Wound recovery time minus 5. I don't plan on dying, though. Um, but that would be useful. That's an action. Um... Ah, what's this? Unlocks hero action. Colossal deliverance. Colossal Deliverance damages the walls of target settlement, uh, reduces cooldown time, ultimate deliverance, uh, damages the walls, buildings, and lowers the settlement level of the target settlement. This sounds cool, however, I'm going to focus on his fighting capabilities for now. Winds of Magic Power Reserve change, plus 20% when increase. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Winds of Magic focused. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and get Deliverance of It's a Free. Uh, that reduces the cost by free, which is very nice. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. I do like this spell. That's the one I like to use the most in battle. And then if we go ahead and look at our uh, Scar Veterans, let's go ahead and get some more hit points for all of them here. What level do you need for your Carnestal, guys? Uh, rank 18. Okay, two more ranks and then we uh, have uh, a lot of Carnestals in Krakar's army then suddenly. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to offer some beautiful cinematic battles. Now, where are we taking Krokgar next? Archon is reduced to this. However, I'm scared of Scarbrand now because I did clumsily go into this war. So what I think I'm going to do is put him on Force March. And I'm going to bring Krokgar back over here because we need to go and defend these lands before Scarbrand comes through and uh, destroys everything we've worked hard for. Prigel can definitely... Let's let him replenish for a few turns and then he can come and deal with the rest of Arkans' lands here. Uh, I think he should be more than capable of dealing with that. Now, Uaxdi should still be retreating. So let's go ahead and take this guy uh, towards Tax Tlaxlander. Uh, there we go, that's a, a bit of a mouthful. He's doing fine. Now, Tepchik, I need you to go back here. Because I am a bit scared of a Queek. And Kalida's fighting him in a way. Uh, if you can get some recruitment, Ed, it's all... We have to globally recruit, which is really expensive. What about allied recruitment? We can do some allied recruitments. Let's see. Jeez, there's a, a lot of units. That's beautiful to see. What's this? Ah, Razordun Hunting Pack. Uh, the unit cards here look amazing for the Lizardmen. Uh, at least for the dinosaurs. Uh, but let's just go ahead. It's only one unit. I think I should save my stuff. I think, Tepchik, you need to come... Maybe in the Land of the Dead would be a good recruitment province. Uh, but we're waiting for Kemri to level up. But soon it will level up. So I think I will just bring him back to the Land of the Dead. That's fine. Uh, we, ha we have a plan. Now, Kusaran, you're like our lookout down here. I hope Oxyotl keeps on extending. Because then I feel somewhat safe. Uh, let's see. Uh, Crypta, you're still recruiting these guys. I, I will keep recruiting them. And there we go. Recruit some more for me. Um, what I'm going to do with you is I'm actually going to start marching you north. Just to protect the, the Kingdom of Beasts here. Instead of Queek decides to march down into these lands. Uh, just so we have someone to defend there. Right. Now let's go ahead and check our settlements. Nothing can be built here. Uh, we can build here. Let's see. We've unlocked uh, another building. Should we have already defense? Ah, uh, yes, we don't need to get this to tier 5 now, do we? Uh, because we already have the 5 pops. There we go, we just need the gold. Uh, so what building do I want? We already have these guys. Probably some dinosaurs. Let's see, Ancient Stegodon, Feral Trigodon, uh, Feral Carnosaur. Ancient Stegodons, Engine of the Gods. Ah, now why is the Engine of the Gods there, but the normal one is here? Huh. Interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and start unlocking some dinosaurs. Ah, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I've uh, maybe become a bit addicted to dinosaurs now. They might just be my... Lizardmen might have just become my favorite faction, I just realized. Uh, I do love the dino units. Right, let's go down here. We can definitely... Let's definitely increase these defenses. Just in case Abyssa comes back. And that doesn't leave us with much gold to do any upgrading over here, does it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing any upgrade. Oh, we could build here, though. Let's see. It's already got growth. Oh, what's this? Income, growth, and casualty replenishment. We have a, a nice, unique building here in a coffer. Uh, but let's go ahead and build some income there. We do have a, a tiny bit of gold left over. And in fact, we can go ahead and get the alignment of crafting as well get that growth and i just realized this is tier five so we can change this ah, but it gives it gives income from all buildings and diplomatic relations okay i'm gonna keep that just because those diplomatic relations may help us get some confederation in the long term uh, let's go ahead and check our diplomacy 
Bring there me might the not be anything here, though. Yeah, we're still quite far away from a confederation here. Uh, but hopefully soon, relations are improving. Uh, it's just taken a, a short while. But let's go ahead to turn 104. And a rite of awakening performed there by our allies. And we do have the winds of pain. The world yields to those who master the winds of magic. Great bolts from the heavens scour the souls from bodies, whilst raging torrents of fire rend the very flesh from bone. Magic can rip enemies into a dozen pieces or leave nothing but an ugly bloodstain where once they stood. The power granted by the cataclysm many eons ago can be harnessed now to bring ruin and destruction upon our enemies. All those who feel the pull of magic feel it grow as the world festers under the chaos ruinous gaze. Their need to ravage grows stronger and stronger by the hour. Uh, so for five turns we have Winds of Magic Power Reserve plus 10 per turn for all armies of all factions. That would definitely help Lord Croak. And uh, speaking of magic, do we have somewhere where we can recruit... Ah, we can get another Scar Veteran. Oh, that's nice. Um, skink Priests. Maybe a or skink oracles. What's the difference between a skink oracle and a skink priest? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, but we can get another scar veteran. Strong. Oh, strong is nice. Is there anywhere else I can recruit these? Just here and here, right? Oh, over here, really? Okay, um, over here, right, let's just go ahead and recruit it here, because I know this is somewhere close. Uh, so let's go ahead and recruit a Scar Veteran, let's go ahead and get the strong one. I cannot pronounce that, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure someone can tell me this. He starts at rank 12. Wow, okay, um, I'll take it, let's go ahead and give you some armor, some melee attack, give you full Seeker. And then we can give you some melee defense. And you still have two more left. Deadly. Straight to deadly onslaught. Wow, look at that. Um, okay. This is turning into something amazing. Now, I need to double check something. Does this increase recruitment? It increases recruitment rank for Scar Veterans. So in theory, we could recruit them at max level if we took enough settlements. Oh boy, uh, imagine that. We do have another right available. And uh, the right of Sotek. Yeah, let's not bother with that one. Uh, that's fine. So let's go ahead and look at Krokgar. Krokgar is continuing his march here. Uh, we can somewhat get to Zandri. So let's get to Zandri. There's an army here. I did see Scarbrand somewhere. Ah, Scarbrand is over here. Okay, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. Right, let's uh, let's do that soon. Let's go and do a wax deal over here. He is still continuing over to our territory to go and get some replenishment. Uh, Tepchik. Oh dear, Tepchik, I really fear for your life, my friend. Just recruit some javelins. Hopefully you can hold that. I don't think you will, but Krokgar is on the way. Do not worry. And um, let's go ahead and move Pryjo. Pryjo, let's leave him here for one more turn to get that nice replenishment. And then we can move him. Uh, Kusaran, you're heading north to go and fight the Skaven. So let's continue with that plan. Uh, Krikta, here, you need to recruit some more... Feral cold ones. This reminds me of Jurassic Park. Uh, you know those tiny, tiny dinosaurs? I don't think these are as small as that. Uh, but they kind of look like it. Uh, which is funny. Now. We have a serious problem here. And by serious, I mean serious, serious. We need to get... Wait, where's the building? This. We need Saurus units. Oh, it's not available for three turns, really. Ah, that's a, that's a challenge I did not foresee. Right, where's the nearest place we can recruit Cyrus units? I think it's down here in the Kingdom of Beasts. Okay, it's... No, it is in the Kingdom of Beasts. Right, let's go ahead and recruit a new Lord here. Uh, we're going to go for a Cyrus Old Blood. Now, we can get Hero Self-Defense or Perceptive. 
Oh, perceptive is nice. Let's go ahead and get this. That's going to increase our supply lines. But we don't really have a choice. He does start at rank 9, which is nice. So let's go ahead and do some of this. Let's see. Now we can go ahead and get full seeker. Let's get that melee defense. There we go. And then what I want to do with you is uh, we're going to get plenty of Saurus with shields. Um, I would like dinosaurs, but we just can't afford it right now. Uh, so you're going to go and hopefully help Tepchik. Oh, that's scary. Why did I do that? Why did I not check uh, who Queek was allied with before I attacked there? A uh, bit of a silly for me, but that's fine. Uh, we have been saying if anyone can stand against the Lizardman, if we can defeat Scarbrand, then I'm sure uh, no one can defeat him. Now, everyone has moved that we can move. And we've spent all of our gold for this turn, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and check our diplomacy. All will be fine. Ah, Hexotal there, finally wanting that non-aggression pact. Because uh, we did buy that trade agreement. There we go, a tiny bit more gold there. Uh, that's useful. Let's see, anything else? Nothing else for trade, but we might be able to build uh, something now. We only have 1.1k, so I doubt that. Uh, maybe in the land of the dead? Not quite. Over here, we could just save that 1.1k gold for recruitment as well, though. Uh, nothing can be built over here. I'm going to focus all my gold over here just for the time being. And we can build up here. This is worth it, though. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and build some... Let's build some brine mining pans. There we go. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, that's all good. Let's go ahead to turn 105 now. Hi, Queen Kalada wanting that non-aggression pack. She does really like us. But again, I don't think she fits in with the great plan. Oh, sorry, I think I might hit the mic there. Um, I was putting my head in my hands because uh, I'm in deeping thought here whether I really want this. It would... Uh, no, I can't. I do plan to take your lands, I'm sorry. You, you don't fill in with the great plan. The great plan does not include those of Tomb Kings. It includes lizards and dinos only. Dinosaurs are lizards, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. But yeah, lizards only, I'm afraid. Okay, a rite of awakening performed there by one of our allies. Disgruntled dwarfs. Oh, have we finally hit the uh, the end game scenario? Uh, rumors are spreading through the land that the dwarfs are starting to mobilize. We're getting reports of old alliances breaking and clans turning on their neighbors. Use your time wisely to prepare. The end is nigh. Uh, the countdown to an imminent cataclysmic event has begun. Its consequence uh, to be revealed when the sands of time are exhausted. Oh, this could be interesting. I wonder if any of that will spawn near us. We do have some mountains here. But I think most of it will spawn here, right? Which isn't actually too far away from us. Uh, so we could have to deal with the endgame scenario. Uh, which could be a lot of fun here. Uh, I'm actually looking kind of forward to this now. But let's go over to Krokgar. Uh, Krokgar, we're in desperate need of your help, my friend. Let's keep on marching east for now. Uh, towards the Black Pyramid of the Dagash. This uh, vampire corruption is terrible. Ah, and I've just walked into it. Okay, I thought we was on the border. That's fine. Right, let's go over to Uaxti. Where's Pyjo on this list? Oh, okay. There we go. Now, uh, we're almost back in our own territory. Uh, there we go. Uh, not quite there. Next turn, we'll be able to get some actual uh, half-decent replenishment. Now, Tepchik uh, is currently facing it. <laughs> off Scarbrand here. Scarbrand getting closer and closer. Uh, that's kind of scary. He is replenishing. Uh, what I'm going to do with you is recruit two more javelin units. Uh, or we could use all the help we can get here. Now, Pryjo has fully replenished. Now, what do we do with you? Let's see. Ah, we still have a Bretonian. Bretonians are there. Oh, and there's two settlements here. Okay. Wait, this is a settlement? 
Oh, it is. They're really close. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take that. Uh, Pride Joel, if you can attack this, that would be beautiful. Uh, decisive victory there. No one defending it, so that's an easy auto resolve. Uh, I will go ahead and occupy this one as well. There we go. Plus 15% campaign line of sight from that follower. Uh, Pride Joel also gaining a level up, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and give him some more weapon strength. He's getting very strong now. There we go back over here. Let's see. Uh, Kusaran. You're still heading north. I'm okay for you to keep doing that as well. So let's do that. Krikta over here. We're still recruiting some feral cold ones with you. That's also fine. Uh, Teng Quack. Ah, yes. You're our new recruiter. Right. Let's go ahead. That's so expensive. Why is that so expensive? Regular cost is 800 Wow. Oh, did our recruitment cost go up? Yeah, recruitment cost plus 33%. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 a small price to pay. It's fine. Jeez, a small price to pay. A thousand gold for a Saurus Warrior. That's no small price. Um, let's see. And we do have our new guy here as well. Ah, no, you're our Scar veteran. Right. I need you to start marching north because we need to join you up with Krokgar and friends. Yes. Right. Do we have any buildings we can build here? I don't believe so. Uh, was that a building we could build? No. Uh, what about over in the deserts here? Ah, we can build in Bagar. Uh, that's some growth. In fact, let's go ahead and build up the land of the dead first. Uh, so we can build some more income here. Let's go ahead and build an income building. Uh, we'll go ahead and build some resources. We can set, get some growth here as well. Uh, I would like to build up this. And now we can uh, upgrade our growth building in Bagar. That is fine. And I think that's all of our gold this turn. Unless we can build up here. Yeah, no. Right, let's go ahead and check out diplomacy. Don't think there's anything. Yeah, nothing this turn. So let's go ahead to turn 106. Settlement has been besieged. Who's that? Oh, Scarbrand moving in. Not brave enough to attack, though. So maybe... How far away is Croc... Ah, he's very far away. I don't think he's going to get here in time. Ah, that's a Rory. Maybe we could think of uh, charging out and meeting him. And we just found Ripons. I refuse. Okay. Krokgar can go and chomp down on her on his way uh, east there. Uh, Rite of Awakening performed by one of our allies... And Kusaran does gain a new trait constructor there. Very nice. And a new technology drill. Sequence of Saurus invigoration of the myriad jungle plants. Some are poisonous while others simulate and rejuvenate the Saurus. Stimulate, sorry. Uh, upkeep minus 10% for Saurus infantry and temple guard units. Very nice. We do gain a new mission. Raise or sack the following settlement. Now, that might actually be doable because I do plan to remove all of these. Oh, the dwarfs are there. Please don't tell me some of the crisis spawns here. That would suck. In fact, they might be. I'm not sure. Uh, make these upstarts understand that their civilization will rise and fall in a heartbeat, as many have before them. 3,600 gold if we do that. But sadly, if we zoom out here, we've gained a nice territory up here. Arkham the Black is beaten back. We've almost dealt with the Bretonians, uh, but we do now have some new animes. Que uh, Animize? Enemies. Uh, we have the Skaven over here of Queek. And we do have Scarbrand to the north. Uh, so once we've dealt with this little piece of landmass here. We can start spreading north. Uh, towards the humans and such. Uh, the Empire. And uh, I think this playthrough is going extremely well. Uh, especially well compared to our, our Lockyer stream at the moment. Uh, but yeah, if you've watched all the way, thank you for watching again. And also, I do always appreciate uh, the feedback and tips you leave in the comments. Uh, I really do enjoy reading them and it helps me improve. And it's uh, nice just to have that little bit of interaction. But yeah, I shall be back tomorrow with another Krokgar episode. Uh, until then, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.